Yo, welcome in everybody. I hope you're all are having a great day. Now, everybody knows the Chaos Sanctuary is an absolutely amazing farming spot. And if you didn't, you do now. Now, I made my first YouTube video December 4th, 2019. And I've made a lot of videos since then. A ton of them even, me running the Chaos Sanctuary. And I found some incredibly amazing things. Now, I thought it'd be fun to throw together today the best drops of all time that I've ever gotten from the Chaos Sanctuary. Now, I can't really knock away those frequently asked questions. They're all completely different types of builds, so the magic find and the player's count will always vary. And these do span across old Diablo 2, Project Diablo 2, single player Diablo 2, where I have it like modded out with loot filters and HD widescreen mods, and then Diablo 2 resurrected as well, of course. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe up. And if you do end up enjoying the video, make sure you hit that like button, you know, for the YouTube algorithm and all. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these drops. We're rocking the first drop here, April 24th, 2020. So you see we're 139 runs in with a Hamburton in the Chaos Sanctuary, doing a 250 set of runs right here. And I find one of the rarest amulets in the game. Uh, I could not believe it because this is one of my first drop highlights of all time. First drop highlight videos, I'm saying. And boom, we get a metal grid. You can see how excited I was. So I recorded a little clip for that. Ah! But man, I could not believe this early into starting a Holy Grail, one of the first drop highlight videos, and I get one of the rarest things in the game. And now we're skipping just a little bit further in that video. We're at 228. So really, I guess we're almost done with the sets of runs for the video. But this is one of the first high runes I found when I started this initial Holy Grail back in the day. And we get a Sir Rune here from the Chaos Sanctuary. I seem to find Sir Runes at a higher clip than pretty much any of the other high runes. I guess maybe I find Vex more often, but Sirs, I just seem to find them everywhere. So the next one you see looks a little bit different. This is actually from Project Diablo 2. I was actually doing a magic find battle I did back in the day. And shocker, channel members and people who watch me all the time are going to get a laugh out of this. I forgot to hit record. Dropped a Griffin's Eye here on Project Diablo 2. Now the drop odds on PD2 are much higher than regular Diablo 2, but still pretty exciting finding a Griffin's Eye on your way into the Chaos Sanctuary. So here we are jumping back into regular Diablo 2. I kind of had stopped playing Project Diablo 2 at this point. You see, I've started to get into like streaming uh, a little bit more here. So we're streaming this one. And like I mentioned before, for some reason, these Sir Runes, I find them so much more often. But who doesn't love getting a high rune of, of really any kind? And a Sir, I mean, at least you get half a Burr rune right there. So for this next clip, it's when I started using this HD widescreen mod for just regular Diablo 2. So this is not Project Diablo 2. Actually, the first half of this video was actually the regular square, and now we're on 1920 by 1080. But man, I get one to combat skills, 30 to life. What a great grand charm. And just to kind of note, I am also using a, a loot filter along with this as well. That's why you're seeing things pop up and look the way that they are. But there, once again, <laughs> It's crazy. I, I don't know. It's just the way my life goes, the way my Diablo 2 playing goes. I just find so many Sir Runes, just way more than every other one. But here's another Sir Rune in the Chaos Sanctuary. Now, here we are. I'm doing my charity live stream that I do every year for the American Lung Association. And sometimes these drops are what they mean to me and not necessarily the overall value. But up until this point, I had done 1,000 Andaro and Mephisto runs, got no Shaco. And then I did 800 more Mephisto runs, got no Shaco. So here on the charity live stream, only 15 runs in, I take out Diablo, and bam, I finally get that Shaco I've been hunting for. So trust me when I hear you guys say that you can't find your Shaco, you can't find your Harlequin's Crest. I've been there, and I've done it. I understand your pain, fellas, and I know how much of a struggle it is, but you just got to keep plugging away, and you'll get what you're looking for. Now, if we did reach the goal for this particular charity stream, I was going to wear my Garth costume. So that's what I'm looking so goofy over the corner. But this is once again, I mean, it's a cool one to get. But in the same sets of runs, I also need to get myself an Andaro's Visage. And once again from Diablo, I get exactly that. So kind of one that meant a lot to me at the beginning of starting the D2R Holy Grail. Getting a great item here for your Act 2 Mercenary. Yeah, my first Andaro's Visage. Now I'm continuing like the same sets of runs, but this is a different day. So no longer the charity live stream, but we need to get ourselves a grief and a fortitude. And man, Chaos Sanctuary paying off. It's usually always a Sir rune, am I right? But here we get that low rune, which especially the first one making like your fortitude for your active mercenary or your grief incredibly, 
incredibly useful and really boosts up your character, your clear speed, and just your overall gameplay and enjoyment. And now, once again, hey guys, I'm gonna find a high rune. Guess which one it's gonna be right here, fellas. Guess which one? You guessed right. I'm guessing you did because, yeah, I always find Sir runes. Always Sir runes, all the time. It's kind of abnormal, just RNG, I suppose, but kind of cracks me up. But maybe not literally every time. You can go ahead and take out monsters on the way into the cast sanctuary here out at the River Flames, and I get another low rune here. Another one. Man, now that is cool. That looks like a screenshot for the thumbnail. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? And uh, up for this next one, uh, you see it right there. I don't know if I bypassed it or maybe, I don't know, something just dropped dead when I wasn't paying attention. But right there, there was just an ohm rune just chilling. Just chilling there waiting for me. Love to see it. So I don't run Chaos Sanctuary a ton, but here it is once again. I'm rocking it for another one of my charity live streams. And this is really just more of a comedy, painful highlight for me. Ooh, man. I've been looking for Griffin's Eye. I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted it. I could not find it. And boy, it was starting to get aggravating. The number of these green Mavina diadems I was finding literally everywhere. But you know what? Eventually, I do find that Griffin's Eye. Now, here is a very interesting one to find a unique Yari. Like, why, Phil? Who cares about that? Well, it actually rolled Ethereal and it has repair on it. You could always upgrade that to a Ghost Spear. And it's just a very interesting item for your Act 2 Mercenary there with all that crushing blow as well. And of course, here a little bit later, of course, of course, of course, we're getting a high rune and it's a Sir because I find billions and billions of Sir runes. Don't know why, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. Pulling high runes, never a bad thing. And while not technically Chaos Sanctuary, a little bit later in the same runs, we go out and decide to run some cows and guess what high rune I find? Going back and watching these videos, it actually is shocking to me. The number of Sir runes I find relative to every other rune in the entire game. They literally drop at the pace of like Lem runes for me, it seems. Now we're once again going after a big old Diablo here and we get unique wired fleece. All right, yeah, yeah. Gladbane is a good item, but oh, oh, wait a second. Ethereal Gladbane. Now that's a rare one and over 2K defense on that sucker now very very interesting love to see it now unique rings always have a ton of possibilities am i right nagel or minald which one do you think it is fellas well actually this time we get ourselves a bk ring very nice yeah yeah one to all skills life leech excellent and funny enough i actually did find a unique ring just before that as well obviously a dwarf star now moving on a little bit longer yeah, usually the Atnax, we're talking about the Rune Master. And really interesting, that sucker's ethereal. Also being it rolled up to 261, and I believe the max it can go up to is 270. And of course, you want to have the five sockets. Sometimes it can have even less. I'm excited about that one. So I find a lot of Sir Runes, but apparently, if I ever find low runes, it's always in the Chaos Sanctuary. Because here, once again, another very useful low rune. Maybe I could go ahead and make that second grief, right, fellas? Now, unique grand charms are usually not the most exciting of uh, highlights or whatever. Sometimes they can be pretty good. Here you see it's not a thunder charm, but we get a geeds. Well, it's got to be pretty dang good for me to include it in this video, huh? Look at that. Perfect gold find, perfect magic find, and a one off of perfect for reduced vendor prices. Now, that is an excellent looking geeds grand charm, or should I say, geeds grand charm. Now a crazy exciting one. Anytime you see anything like, ooh, ooh, that right there. Unique sacred armors, when you're doing a holy grail, are very, very exciting. I believe until this point, I probably found one Templar's Might in my entire life. So this is making me just absolutely sweat bullets right here. Hoping, hoping, hoping for that Tyrael's Might. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh man, it was painful, but like I said, haven't found that many unique sacred armors. Still very rare and cool to get yourself a Templar's Might. Now every once in a while, the RNG switches it up and gives me something else and ba-boom. There's a big dog right there. Probably the 
most important one, the most valuable, the one everybody wants to find, there's one of those job runes. You do not find those every day. So I'm like one sixth of the way to making a last wish here. Am I right, fellas? I do quite often get comments. Why don't I show more rare items in my drop alley videos? It's because I don't find very many good ones. But man, look at how high specifically the lightning and fire res are on these tri res boots. Now it's only 10 walk run, just a little dex, but those resistances are mega nice. So I decided to note that in these best of drop highlights. Now, you know, I don't find many Griffins and that's why this one was so exciting. I already had a Griffins at this point. I had found the one that was in the pits and I was just testing out my monitor when I first bought it just to see how good it looked and worked. And I'd found that Griffin. So this was the second one and I actually found it live on stream. So from now on chat, you can't roast me for making up the Griffins drop or whatever you guys say that's just joking around. Obviously, I actually found one live on stream. It's official, but man, who doesn't love finding a Griffin's eye? And here we go, the last but not least, an actual perfect gold find small charm. I don't usually need gold find stuff, but perfect 10 gold from monsters, a perfect 11 fire res. Great out there for farming trap. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe up if you're new before you go. Peace out and keep slaying.